this is that we intended to sit there occupied. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the official press conference of the Watch and Jewelry Show, Puzzle World 2015. Before we begin, please note that the conference offers simultaneous interpretation in four languages. English on channel number one, German on channel number two, French on channel number three, and Chinese on channel number four. Please extend a warm welcome to our first speaker, Mr. René Kong, CEO of MCH Group. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. This show normally celebrates the opening press conference in the presence of the President of the Exhibitors Committee, Mr. Jacques Duchesne. But regretfully this year, Mr. Duchesne is not among us. With the consent of his family, I have the very sad duty of informing you that during the last night, Mr. Duchesne passed away. Needless to say, his demise is an immeasurable loss to the entire industry and to Basel World in particular. Especially this year, as Mr. Duchesne was all set to celebrate two anniversaries, his 60th attendance at Basel World and his 20th as President of the Exhibitors Committee. Mr. Duchesne has truly helped make Basel World into the superlative show for the entire watch and jewelry industry and we all will miss him very much. But not just for that, he was a man with a vision and he had his heart at the right place. My sincere condolences and also on behalf of MCH Group, the whole Barcelona team and the exhibitors go out to Mr. Tichet's family. His wife, his daughter and his three grandchildren. I would like us here in the room to take a minute of silence in memory of and as a tribute to an industry legend. So please. Um. And we are proud to host the most important marketplace and trend-setting event for this amazing industry. Putting together a show like Basel World is a real task, a big task that needs a lot of passion and skills. And in this respect, we must place Sylvie Richard, Managing Director of Basel World, and her team a huge compliment for the great job they've done again this year. For more on the show itself, I will let Sylvie share her thoughts with you personally. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank all those others who have strongly contributed to the success of this year's event. First and foremost on this list has to be the exhibitors whose presence gives the show its greatest appeal. We sincerely thank them for the commitment to Basel World, for returning time and again. And equally importantly, for using this platform to showcase and share their innovations and creations with the whole world. Thanks to all the representatives of the Exhibitors Committees for their ongoing support and cooperation throughout the year. Then, of course, there's all of you, the international press, who deserve our sincere thanks for getting the message out on what's new and exciting at Basel World. By broadcasting up-to-date information for our, from our show all over the world, you contribute to creating a unique global impact. While you are here in our wonderful city, by the way, with wonderful weather, we wish you an enjoyable stay and successful and exciting discovery of all that Basel World 2015 has in store for us. 
Merci. Les médias. J'aimerais tout d'abord rendre hommage à un homme d'engagement qui avait une force de caractère, une vision sans pareil. Sans M. Duchesne, le Salon mondial leader que nous connaissons aujourd'hui aurait un tout autre visage. M. Duchesne a toujours fait preuve d'une remarquable détermination, de celle qui permet d'avancer, de porter un projet, de rassembler et d'atteindre des objectifs parfois très ambitieux. Et c'est dans cette énergie, mesdames et messieurs, que je vais vous parler aujourd'hui, malgré mon immense tristesse de base World et de l'ouverture de l'édition 2015. Pour vous, mesdames et messieurs les professionnels des médias, pour les exposants et pour les acheteurs du monde entier, Baselworld est, sans aucun doute, le rendez-vous mondial de l'horlogerie et de la bijouterie. Tous les ans, des dizaines de milliers de professionnels font le déplacement à Bâle pour prendre le pouls de cette industrie, pour découvrir les nouvelles tendances et, bien sûr, pour acheter les dernières créations dont ils seront de retour au pays les ambassadeurs. C'est dire que c'est ce matin un jour d'une triste nouvelle que d'apprendre effectivement le décès de Jacques Duchesne, que je connais depuis un quart de siècle, et qui devrait être avec nous ici en ce moment. Monsieur Duchesne, comme l'a dit Madame Ritter, directrice de Madame Lord, est un homme qui avait une extrême détermination. Moi qui l'ai côtoyé pendant 25 ans, qui a secrété au comité des exposants de Baden pendant 20 ans, il était le président, je peux vous assurer qu'il a su véritablement nous communiquer sa passion et son énergie. L'énergie n'est pas une question d'âge, c'est une question intérieure. Je suis sûr que là-haut peut-être, il nous écoute, je l'espère, il nous regarde. Et si Baselord est ce qu'il est devenu aujourd'hui, c'est en partie grâce à lui, grâce à vous aussi, mais grâce effectivement à cette force qu'il a su impliquer à toutes et à tous. M. Duchesne avait trois familles, bien sûr, sa famille proche à qui, personnellement, je présente aussi une certaine condoléance. Et sa deuxième famille, c'est aussi la famille Rolex, où il a travaillé pendant six décennies. Et bien évidemment, sa grand, troisième grande famille, c'était la nôtre celle de l'horlogerie de la bijouterie, ce bon monde qui est là, effectivement, les uns et les autres, on essaie de mesurer le temps, mais le temps est quelque chose que nous ne pouvons pas changer. Nous pouvons seulement l'embellir, lui donner de la beauté. Il y aura toujours 60 secondes dans une minute, et ainsi de suite, et M. Duchesne, c'est quelqu'un qui savait mieux qu'il quiconque ce que représentait la valeur du temps. Et très souvent, il me disait, profitez, profitez, je... En voyant ça, je peux vous assurer, il a dit à plusieurs reprises à Sylvie Ricard qui vient de m'en parler. Voilà, mais le show continue. Alors s'il était là, je sais qu'il nous dirait à l'église. Donc on va continuer pour honorer sa mémoire, ce meilleur compliment qu'on puisse faire. Et je vous remercie à vous d'avoir eu une pensée pour nous. Alors les exploitations, on va parler un petit peu dans le suisse. Vous remarquerez que it was possible to get immediately the time of the city where we were going to land with the weather forecast. I mean, uh, when in news, I mean, a lot of information, and even the stock exchange, a lot of things. Unfortunately, uh, when I was... ...of them that you have been talking now, mainly about your employer, about talking about you, so not talking for the Swiss watch industry as such. Um, there are smaller companies not belonging to Swatch, including our company, Modern, who have a different view, have developed independently of Swatch Group, products in the connected market and we do think that it is an important market, a growing market. I do share the view that there are two markets. One is what they would call the digital market, the other one is the analog market. I think the Swiss companies like smaller companies like ours do have a grip on analog watches. That's the reason why we have developed such. How big it will be, we don't know. I have lived through the 70s crisis as well. I don't compare today's change 
to a crisis. I think it's an opportunity, but I do think that we will see more and more Swiss and non-Swiss watches, both analog and digital, and I think we should take this serious. I do share the view that many people will add a watch which didn't wear a watch before. I do think Swiss have the opportunity to build long-lasting watches. We have not only updates by software, the watches we are presenting now at the fair, and we are not the only ones, uh, will have opportunities to update the hardware once the watch gets into the service every two, three, four years. So we want to build long-lasting products but having the advantage of connected features as well. I just wanted to add that to complement.